Yes, we are done with our lecture. We, we have finished the grammar and the writing. Okay. We solved pages 16. I, just, I need to go to which homework? I need to go to quarter. The worksheet. Teacher, which homework? The worksheet, the worksheet. I didn't know. No problem. It's okay, Miss. Seven. Yeah. So as you remember from our lesson, dollars and cents, we have learned some vocab words, right? And these vocab words are process. They are the ones in bold in this page. Process, funds, routine, enterprise, undertaking, exceptional, compassionate, and innovative. Okay? It's okay if you did not solve the worksheet before. We are going to solve it together. Okay? So if you did not answer correctly, you don't have to be ashamed. Okay, yalla. Let me start with the first one who joined the Zoom is Bella. Yalla, Bella. I will help you. Read number. Read the vocab question. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks for each vocabulary and con concept word. Word. Yes. What is number one? Concept word. What is the first step in the process of writing a letter? Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, the date. Bravo. Yes. Let's say the date. What else? There's more than one. Um, like you can start the date with the date. Or... And the name. The date. And if the name. Like, uh, you mean the name, the name of the receiver. Like when you say dear, uh, Ghadir, for example, right? Yeah, this one we call it a greeting, yeah. the greeting, okay? So let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, writing the yeah. Mor Morning, miss. Hi, time. Morning. We just started, okay? Bravo, Bella. Excellent. Did you solve it before or or you just you just Oh, uh, no. Excellent. Bravo. Quick thinking. Thank you, Bella. Uh, let me have Bayan. I always write letters. Ah, that's why. Okay, plus one. <sighs> Yalla, Bayan. Let's see if Bayan will get the plus one too. <clears throat> Mahdi, mute, please. Yalla, Bayan, number two. Okay. What would a city use funds? Certain. Certain funds for. Yes. But well, do you know the meaning of funds? What does it mean? It means when you put some cookies to buy something, when the people come to buy, yes. you start collecting some money. Ah, so funds means money. Yes, okay. If you have a city and you have some funds, you have some money, what would you do with the money? You have to do something for this Actually, buy something for my mom and dad. No, I'm talking the city, not your family, Bayan. Uh, <laughs> you have to be working for the city. Um, what I did for the city? Yeah. I could play on the table from city and... Can you, can you please speak louder? I cannot hear you. I actually put on the table some cake and there are only some pieces and to keep the money on it and let and to start the people come to buy it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, let me let me tell you something. It's okay, Bayan. <clears throat> but listen, if you have a city, then you have to take care of the people living in the city. For example, if the streets in the city are not straight, like our city. Okay, there are there are lots of holes and pits in the street that will um, you know will be filled with water when it rains and stuff like that. Then if you have funds, the first thing to do is to fix the roads. 
right? And if you have more money, maybe you can build a hospital. Or we can help the people bring them food. Yes, yes, so bravo, that's what I mean. Maybe you can build a hospital. Maybe you can build a, a, a park for the children to, to play. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Mia. I didn't. I don't know what the author's purpose is. No, no, we're getting to that, right? I don't. I just joined. Okay. So I can say to repair roads or to fix roads. Okay, this is an example, and there are many examples. Number three goes to Mahdi. Plus one for your participation, Bayan. Yalla, Mahdi, number three. Yes. Yalla, number three, please. What is? What is the routine in your class? Yeah, do you know the meaning of routine? Not very. Sorry? Not very. Not a lot. So a routine is something that you do regularly. For example, maybe your mom's routine in the morning is to drink coffee. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, so what, what is a routine in your class, in the class? For example, what the, what does the class do at the end of the of the period or at the end of the day? Okay, I have I have uh, someone who raised her, her hand and his hand. Yalla Abbas. After school. The routine is to go home. Yeah, but what, what do you do before you go home? In class, what do you do? Study. No, this is not what I mean. Say goodbye. You say goodbye. You play football? This is a can be a routine in the in the class. Someone else, Talia. When the teacher, teacher I know. When the teacher enters, you have to say good morning. Bravo. Excellent. This can be a routine in the class. Greeting the teacher. Teacher? Then, I know. Yes, give me another example. Uh, learning. Always we learn in uh, the class. Uh, yeah, but this is not a routine. You go to school to study, right? What? But a routine is, yeah, something, you... is something like Talia said. Okay, like greeting the teacher. <laughs> you need to respect the teacher. Yeah, but there, there are other routines. For example, uh, keep, 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 your mute, keep your mic on mute. Wait, miss, I think I know another one. Yalla, go ahead. You already earned the plus one. Mm, I think when the teacher tells us to open which page, you have to open the page. Uh, this is something you have to do. No, I don't feel like the one you said. It's not, not related to... Call of duty. Call of duty. Let me get, let me give you a, another example. For example, when you line up, when you line up, or maybe it can be a routine in class that you recite the ISI... Cleaning the board. Cleaning the board. For example. Okay. Or uh, a routine can be, for example, to tidy up or tidy up the class before you go home. This can be a routine. Um, uh, Matthew, Matthew, is there a problem with your device? Why can't you stay on mute? Giving a static noise, you know what it is? It's like a, a wind noise. See, it's doing it again. You mean the glitching noise? Starting noise, like, uh, you know? noise so what do we have here for number three packing our bags at the end of the day can be a routine or tidy up the class at the end of the day or reciting the isi anthem at the beginning of the day or as talia said greeting the teacher all these are correct okay 
Thank you, Miss. Let me have read Wait. four. Miss, Miss. Yes, Miss. And and uh, how about cleaning the playground? Because we always used to clean the playground. Yeah, that's correct. But they said a routine in class, not in school. That's why I only focused on the class. Yalla Ref. Oh, okay. Yalla Ref number four. What type of a project okay. could be an enterprise? What? Uh, what? What type? What of type? Of... Yalla, read it. Okay. Um, what type of project might be an enterprise? Yeah. Um, Teacher, uh, can you say for me, I, I am, what is enterprise? An enterprise is like a business. Okay. A project. Mm, maybe making baking or yes, something? That, yes, correct, bro. Uh, maybe. Miss, can I say one? One second, uh, Rev, you can start, for example, baking at home and selling a uh, uh, home yeah. uh, homemade cake and cookies online. It can be an enterprise. And do cookies, yeah. baking plus cookies. One. Yes, or that's one. Rev. Uh, sorry, Rev. Miss, can, can I, I Miss, can I tell you number seven? Wait, Miss, for your turn. Ali Burji, do you have a, uh, an idea for an enterprise? Mm. Mm. Um, uh, we can, we can, what's it called? Coding, yeah. Okay, yes, you can do something related to programming and computer, of course. Or you can make a lemonade stand as well. Let me have now Rawad, please, after Rawad is Fadl. Yalla Rawad, number five. What is something that would be a huge undertaking at your school? Yes. Science fair uh, is a huge project in my school. Bravo, we can say that if the school is, is trying to take a huge decision, maybe they can make a science fair competition where all the other schools can, will come and compete. Or maybe uh, your school may build a new cafe, a new cafeteria, sorry. Or maybe they will build a, a, a new swimming pool so this will be a huge decision. Or, yeah, maybe, I mean, or maybe expanding the school, like building another building or adding more buildings to it. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Rawad. Plus one, of course. Yalla Fadl, number six, please. And then Tala Karaouni. Yalla Fadl, number six, what is? Yes, yes, miss. To be a professional soccer player. Excellent. Bravo. Playing football uh, uh, you, it requires you to be an, in an exceptional shape. A clown? What is a job that requires a person to be in exceptional shape? Fadl answers a football player. Clown is a job that requires a person to be in an exceptional shape. Undertaking. Mm. Repeat, uh, Fadl, I didn't hear you. Someone was interrupting. I miss I also have one for undertaking. Go ahead, share with us. The opening school in Corona, in, in the time of Corona. Ah, uh, yeah, but this will be illegal. <laughs> right? It's I not know. allowed. Okay. Uh, Salma, you were saying something. Yes, what is it? Thank you, Fadl, plus one, of course. A clown is a job that requires a person to be an exceptional shape. A clown, but it, he can be a clown and fat, and he will stay be and he will be funny, right? It, he has to be an no. exceptional shape because, uh, like Fadl said, a, a football player, you know, because he has to run, he has to be healthy all the time. Okay. So you uh, mean like, like something like a like a. Uh, and Miss, I think I, I think I know one for the exceptional shape. Me, Yala, me, quickly tell me. Um, I'm a, a magician. 
a magician, um, but he doesn't have to be in an exceptional shape. You know, he doesn't have to be you know, thin and uh, um, doing sports. I know. All the time. I, I think I know. Yalla, Mia. I know one. Yeah, Mia, Mia. And then yeah. Brahman. Yeah, like, what it, you, miss, you mean to start a I was there. Guys, if you want to start a job, you said I was next. Yeah, Tala, Mia is going to give me an example for number six. I know you are next. Mia, I didn't, I didn't get your answer, please. Is this question to start a job with exceptional shape? Yeah, yeah. What job requires a person to be in an exceptional shape? A gym. An athlete. I wrote it. A person. I want the person, not the place. Uh, okay. Yala Ibrahim, uh, what's yours? A karate trainer. It's still an athlete. An <laughs> athlete is someone who does sports, all kinds of sports. Okay, Tala, number seven. You're on mute Where? the first time. Yala, Tala. Yes. Where might you find compassionate people helping others in need? Bravo, Yala, this is a nice one. Like, on road. Repeat, I didn't hear you. On roads. On roads, you will find compassionate people helping others in need. Miss, I think I know. Wait, Miss. Wait, I wait. know. Wait, Miss. Other than that, I know what you mean. You mean like if your car stops and then someone will come and help you with the car? Mm. No. I mean, like, if somebody's poor and somebody goes give them money. Ah. Ah, like. Can I answer? Okay, but you know, Miss, Tala, this, I know. this is something. This is something that one. didn't happen. You know, these people they should be taken care by the government, and there should be a charity. Um, charity so we can go give money to the charity and the charity will provide them food and shelter they shouldn't be uh, Miss, I know. on the roads you understand I know. guys please i will mute oh, you all I know. I'm really interrupting okay Tala. We go, yeah. let's, let's talk about something that you know happens all, I know. all over the I world know. not only in lebanon Miss, i think i know that i, I know one i'm going to mute you all because keep unmuting and telling me that you know is actually disturbing. Tala Karaouni. Yes, Tala, think of another place, another place where you can find compassionate people. Um, my brother. A place, a place. If, if something happens oh. to you, God forbidden, and then you need someone to help you, where do you go? If a thief stole somebody's my bag, yes, and, and somebody came and took it from him, uh, let me let me make it easier for you. Uh, let, well, people people who need in help who need help are people who are sick, right? Or people who uh, who were uh, injured in an accident, for example right or people who got their house on fire right yes. so if people got sick where can they go to uh, to get help if someone is sick where can that person oh. seek help the doctor the doctor and what, what do we call the place where you go and there are lots of doctors and nurses and the hospital yes Yes, exactly. So the people in the hospital are compassionate people because they help others who are in need, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, uh, Yala Talia, what do you want to add? 
Thank you, Tala. Um, charitable foundation. Yes, charitable exactly. Foundation. For charity. Yes, people who are helping other charitable foundations. Excellent. Okay, Mas, this is taking a long time. Uh, there's also something called food bank. There is, there is something like this here in Lebanon, but it's not um, very popular. Food bank. People who do not have uh, money to buy food, they can go to the food bank and they can get their food for free. Okay, next on my list is Ghadir. Yalla Ghadir, what are some recent innovative technologies? This one is easy, Ghadir, yalla. Ghadir? Ghadir Aisa? Yes. Yalla. What are some recent innovative technology? Recent means in new. Innovative means creative technologies, something related to technology, devices, and stuff. Give me any example of something that is really popular nowadays. What do you have? What 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 are you using to watch the Zoom? The phone. The phone. The smartphones. These are recent innovative technologies, Radir. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that your friends will have other. So I have here smartphones. Who has other examples of uh, recent technologies? Raise your hand. Yes, Ibrahim. I was looking at Ibrahim. Yeah, Ibrahim. Uh iPhone 11, 12. Still a phone. A car. Cars. Bravo. What kind of cars? Computers. Cars and computers. Excellent. You know, there's something called Tesla cars. It checks for the last time. And now it's going really wild. Tesla cars. You're on a mute. Okay. Thank you, Ghadir. Uh, let me have now Salma. And that becomes uh, uh, a name. Yalla Salma. Yes. This is an easy question. Uh, we said that our text, dollars and cents, is an informational text, right? What is this topic about? What, what does it talk about, dollars and cents? Is it talking about... Bravo. Who are supposed to help people? Big businesses or small businesses? Small businesses. Both, actually, but they only focused on big businesses, right? Big businesses should help people. The topic is about how big businesses can help poor people. Bravo, Salma. Excellent. Yalla, Lama. After Lama on my list is uh, Hassan Zalghut. Yalla, yes, miss. Yalla, you have this question. I will help you if you did not, if you don't know the answer. Why is Hearts and Souls? This is a, a title in the lesson. Why do you I think, know. Yeah, why is it a good title for the selection? Because the... In order to find... I, in order to find out if it's a good title, you should talk about what is the selection? What is this paragraph about? Money. Only this paragraph. No, actually, it's not about money. They are telling it's us about sell poor people. It's about so hearts here refers to people who are compassionate. Compassionate people and souls. Do you do you remember what's the meaning of souls? Do you still remember? It was one of yes, our uh, phonics spelling. Compassionate. Not compassionate, souls. Do you remember this word souls? What does it mean? What am I drawing? Shoes. And we said the soul is the, bottom, is the bottom part of the shoe, right? Yes. So here, uh, the soul is the bottom part of the shoe, but the word souls represent the shoes. And hearts is, a, is an organ in the body, but it represents compassionate people. I'm going to repeat. So this word, souls, refers to a part of a shoes. 
it, but they mean the whole shoes in it, okay? And hearts is only one part of a human being, right? But here they mean good people or compassionate people, okay? So here, what, okay. what is the link? They want to tell us that compassionate people are providing shoes to people in need, okay? That they want, yes. So what can I say? Uh, Hearts and Souls is a good title for the selection because it has details about compassionate man, which is Blake Mykoski, who wants to provide souls means shoes to poor children. Okay, does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Okay, thank you, Lama. Yalla, Hassan. Yalla, Hassan. What was Blake Mykoski's program to help children? This one is easy. What was his program? How, how did he decide to help the children? To, to give one pair of Excellent. shoes to every kid in need. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you. One to one. So we can say Blake Mykoski's program was one to one. He would give one pair of shoes for each pair of shoes he sells. Excellent, Hassan. Ali Burji, not everyone participates is getting a plus one, okay? Ali Burji left. I cannot find him in my list. And uh, Noor, let me have Noor Clayt. Yalla, Noor. Yes. Yalla, number three. How did the Hard Rock Cafe raise money for charity? Yeah. Miss Carla is having math for Zoom. Yes, Noor. You muted yourself again. It means you are not ready. Okay. Um, let me have Rida. Yalla, Rida. Yes. How did the Hard Rock Cafe raise money for charity? Do you know the answer, Rida? If you don't know the answer, I will choose someone else, but I'll get back to you, okay? Mia. I don't know. Okay, I'll get back to you, okay, Rida? Yeah. Mia, do you know the answer? How how did the Hard Rock Cafe raise money? Uh, what did they do, the Hard Rock Cafe? How did they bring money to help other people? Oh, they, they bring uh, rocks to the cafe, <laughs> the one that like plays, plays the... Uh, guitar, rocks, uh, yeah, you mean rock stars, not rocks, rock stars. Yeah, so yeah, but this is not the yeah. way. What did they do in order to? They they sold something. They sell. Who knows? I want Ali Saleh, Ali Safi Uh. Then the Muslim. Salma Tiba, Maryam Juni, Zahra Sulaiman. Who knows no. from these? Okay, Ibrahim Hijazi. Yalla, Ibrahim. But, yes. uh, the Hard Drop Cafe raised money by selling a line of T-shirts. Excellent. Excellent. And these T-shirts, uh, Mia, these T-shirts were designed by rock stars, okay? By famous rock stars. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Uh, Will I get a plus one? Yes, of course. Okay, Salma, Salma Tiba. Yala Salma, how does the foundation make a wish function? What do they do? This foundation make a wish. What do they do? Uh, it makes the wish come true. For who? For... for... For normal people, for example, if I go 
and I told them that I have a wish, will they make it happen for me? Uh, yes. I wish it's a true, Sam. <laughs> I wish this is a true, but I don't think. But it's let not. Us. It's not. It's yeah, let's, not. let's hear from Mariam. Mariam. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How does how does the foundation make a wish function? Uh, Asa, but you raised your hand. That's why I took you. Yeah, let's, okay. I'm, I'm going to give the answer because I need to finish solving the worksheet, okay? So make a wish foundation grants means gives children with medical issues. And here they mean medical issues. It means they're almost, you know, they're, they do not have enough or they have only a few days to live. The foundation issues for children with serious medical problems. Yes, yes, excellent. That's the answer. That's it, bravo. Okay, now I will move on to the second part. Yeah, miss this one is very important. And then the phonics is easy and the writing is homework, okay? The writing is homework uh, and you have to upload it to the application. It's a graded homework, okay? Yeah, let me continue now with Ali Saleh. Ali Saleh left. Ali Safi Din then. Yalla Ali, we, yes. talked about, we talked about author's purpose in our lecture last time. We said that we have persuade, to convince, inform, give information, entertain, just like to have fun. So tell me number A, give a child the gift of your time, volunteer as a tutor today. What is this, Ya Ali? Give a here the older the one who wrote this one he wants to convince us to convince uh, teachers to teach or he's just informing or is he entertaining us what is the what is the purpose a child yeah miss you have to choose persuade inform or entertain there's a question in the quiz about author's purpose Yes, Ali. He, he's, he's inviting or he's, he wants teachers to teach. And, and he, he used it in a, in a nice way. Like he said, give a child the gift of your time. It's like you, you will give the child a gift mm -hmm. if you teach him. So what does he want us to do? Miss, raise your hand if you know, please. Okay. Uh, I wanted to give the child a gift. Yeah, but you have to tell me, is it to inform, to persuade, or to entertain? What is the purpose? This is the question. Oh. I, would be, I, I couldn't choose you because you have all these uh, characters in your name. What is the answer? Do you know the answer for this? Give a child the gift of your time, volunteer. Uh, as, as a tutor a today, yes. What is the answer? Um. I don't know. Okay, the answer what do you is mean? to persuade. To persuade, he wants to convince. Okay. He wants to convince the teachers to teach the children. Okay, this is the oh, answer. Okay, okay I'm, I will allow you all to unmute. Uh, now, a uh, second one. Let me go back to Noor Klet. Yalla, Noor, unmute. Can I... Abbas. Where's can I... Uh... Ah, Ali Saleh, yalla Ali, B. A hurricane is an enormous storm that forms over the ocean. The center of the hurricane is called the eye and is the calmest part of the storm. 
What is the author's purpose, Ali Saleh? Inform. To inform. Bravo. Excellent, Ali. Plus one. Here, the author is just is giving us information about the hurricane. Okay. So his purpose is to yes. inform. Thank you, yes. Ali. Please uh, mute. Now let me go back to. Yes, yes Noor. Noor Klet. Yes. Yalla Noor. The summer is the best time of year to visit Wild Grove Water Park. Come see our most popular ride. What is the purpose here? For, uh, he wants us to visit this nice park. Yes. Would you mind rejoining for five minutes? Can I can I end the can I end it now? But you have to rejoin. From where? It's okay if I didn't solve the homework. Okay, teacher. Okay. When do you need to I will end. Okay. Now you are twenty three. I want to twenty three. I will take the attendance again. Okay. I just need five more minutes. Okay. Rejoin. Yalla. I will end. Rejoin. Okay.